What's up, Cubers? This is Kevin Yurick, and today I've got another handmade puzzle to present. This is the cheese block designed by Taylor Howell and cast by me. So let's go in for a closer look at this handmade cheese block. The first thing you may be wondering is how this puzzle gets its name. If you've ever seen the original Rubik's cheese, you'll notice that these center pieces on this puzzle are very similar to the pieces on that puzzle. So the designer decided to call this a cheese block. This puzzle is designed around a Shangsha 2x2, and I wanted to use a speed cube 2x2, but I couldn't do so because the flooring cuts wouldn't allow me to glue my cast pieces onto them. So, without further ado, let's go into the turning of this puzzle. So if you've seen my older videos of this puzzle, you would remember that this puzzle acts bandage in that you need to align these center slices to make every single turn, which does make this puzzle a little bit of a frustrating solve, but it's still fun because it adds a little bit of an extra challenge. But once you have these center slices lined up, it just glides smooth. But now we'll see if we turn it like this, there's no way it can cut through. So you have to align. And then, turns on through. This puzzle always turns really nice, has a really nice design. It's pretty similar to a square one in the tracks that it used. So it doesn't really cut corners, but it does turn smoothly and because of the bandaging, this is not a puzzle you're gonna be speed solving and so you don't really need this puzzle to cut corners. So let me just show you how the pieces flip around a little bit. And so you can see that it's solved like a two by two and then you have to solve the inner cheese slices. It's not too difficult, you just have to remember where you are with your algorithms because of the bandaging. So let's get it back to where it was. That's it for my handmade cheese block. If you'd like to see a little bit more about the construction of this puzzle, please leave a comment below and I'll try to throw something together. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.